Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And as you probably know by now, Nikki Haley has suspended her presidential campaign. But it's what she said during her speech ending the campaign that has a lot of people furious with her. I want to make sure you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you're not on YouTube, check us out at Explain America on YouTube by going to youtube.com forward slash Explain America. If you become a member of the channel and there's paying subscription tiers, there's going to be all kinds of cool and exclusive perks you're going to get every month if you decide to do that. If you want to just subscribe for free, you can do that as well. And you're going to see something every single time we post a video. You get a little alert, let you know we post it. So Nikki Haley gave her speech, and it was a long overdue speech, you know, talking about she's out of the race and blah, 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 blah. But it's what she said and didn't say that caught a lot of attention. She didn't endorse Trump. And she did say Trump needs to earn the support of her and her voters. And that's very interesting considering if you watched last night on Super Tuesday, a lot of her voters are Democrats that weren't going to vote for her in the general if she got the nomination, let alone vote for Trump. So I think she thinks she has a lot more power than she does. I want you to watch this video and then please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Continue to promote all those values, as is the right of every American. I sought the honor of being your president. But in our great country, being a private citizen is privilege enough in itself. And that's a privilege I very much look forward to enjoying. In all likelihood, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee when our party convention meets in July. I congratulate him and wish him well. I wish anyone well who would be America's president. Our country is too precious to let our differences divide us. I have always been a conservative Republican and always supported the Republican nominee. But on this question, as she did on so many others, Margaret Thatcher provided some good advice when she said, quote, never just follow the crowd, always make up your own mind. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. At its best, politics is about bringing people into your cause, not turning them away. And our conservative cause badly needs more people. This is now his time for choosing. I end my campaign with the same words I began it from the book of Joshua.